Good morning, Internet, and welcome to my art studio I, in Lake Forest, California. My name is Paul Moyer. Today, we're going to make a watercolor paint from pigment. Uh, in fact, we're going to make red from a wet pigment that we can purchase from Jacquard. They usually sell it um, three bottles, two and a quarter ounces. Um, the, the eight bottles in a package. For instance, here's the Earth Tones package, um, eight bottles, and then uh, six of the eight primary color bottles here. And each of the eight set, uh, set of eight um, cost under $30. So we've spent $60 so far. We intend to make uh, 14 different um, watercolor paints. So we're going to continue with it right now. And uh, we are using Jacquard Red. Jacquard Red. And I have all of these uh, links to these products uh, in the description um, below. If you're viewing me from your computer, if you're viewing me from your TV, then you will need to log on to your computer to be able to look at the links and use them. I never had any luck <laughs> with the links on TV. Wow, that's, it looks like there's a bubble in there. Yep, there is. So here is a lot of ink. And I don't know that if you need to stir it up or what, um, uh, but I'm not going to. And so our principal music measure is a tablespoon. And who took my tablespoon? Oh. Half a teaspoon. Huh. You can't find my tablespoon. Well, I do have... Come on. Oh, well, that presents a problem. Where's my tablespoon? Well, a tablespoon, as you may know, is about 10 milliliters. So I'm going to suck up 10 milliliters. In any case, we're just making more or less paint. So there I go. This is a, a syringe. Actually it's a set you get the syringe and the little container here. Um, uh, just like a tube. Just like the tubes that you you buy. And uh, actually it's more like these tubes and here we can see a rose or another scarlet so I, I don't know what Jacquard 
red is, it says it's true red. So, um, we'll continue. And I rinse it out. I wonder what happened to my tablespoon. But anyway, uh, the syringe works well. It's also very effective um, in putting the paint where you want it. So now we're going to add Here's the part where the tablespoon would have come in handy, but it's going to have a bunch of teaspoons added. I could, I, this is powdered. This is the Senegal part of powder, and we um, <laughs> so half a teaspoon. I'd have, I'd have to do six of those, or five heaping teaspoons, so that's three, uh, you know what, uh, four, I think that's a tablespoon already, they've been, they were pretty heaping tablespoons. Gum Arabic historically has been the principal medium for watercolors and um, if we hearken back to the caveman era 30,000 years ago I'm sure they just used water um, I, I can't imagine gum Arabic being on the menu and so now I've added gum Arabic but I'm going to add a little more moisture and just enough to absorb the gum Arabic that I put in and to loosen the whole mixture. Gum Arabic gets brittle. Um, it absorbs everything and then while you're mixing it, it clumps and absorbs so you want to keep it wet and mix it well. You can see. And now one aid, one additive that is a very great good idea is glycerin. And it is also historically a common component. I put a fair amount of a small amount of glycerin 